Hello, David here at merchantaccounts.ca. Today I'm gonna to talk about shopping carts and payment gateways and understanding compatibility when building an e-commerce website. Stay tuned, we'll dig in in one second. So if you're building an e-commerce website, you probably don't want it to be a miserable failure. <laughs> now that's not a very optimistic way to start the video. Don't worry, I, I am an optimist. So what I really mean is you wanna make sure that if you invest in building, building an e-commerce website, that at the end it comes together and it works and it's effective. But if you're new to e-commerce, there are these different components and all these different parties, and like the shopping cart, the payment gateway. How do you work through it all if this is not your area of expertise? Like I can imagine if I wasn't an expert, I'd be quite, hesitant to pull the trigger and spend all that money, pick a payment processor, pick a shopping cart software, pick a payment, like do all this stuff and then like not, not knowing if it works. So let me start here. It's actually super logical and super simple. We just need to break it down. Part one is the shopping cart. So the shopping cart software is a software that runs on your website and it powers those little add to cart buttons. You know, like if you're on an online shoe store, it's like, drop down box quantity one, color blue, size 10, add to cart. It's just the soft, software that runs on your website that keeps track of that stuff. So if, if somebody clicks add to cart, okay, it knows that you wanna buy a pair of shoes, blue shoes, size 10. And as you go through the website, you add more stuff to your cart. You add a t-shirt and a baseball cap or whatever it is. And then the customer clicks the checkout button. That's still the shopping cart. The shopping cart at this point is gonna take the stuff that's being added together in the cart and come up with an order subtotal. And then it's gonna say, okay, I need to figure out how much tax to charge this customer. So the shopping cart software is gonna let the customer type in their billing address, and then it's gonna show how much the tax is going to be. And it will also show what the shipping options are. Oh, you want overnight shipping to Rhode Island? Well, that's $30, whatever. The point is the shopping cart's job is to keep track of what the customer's buying and figure out the order total. Just like the cashier to grocery stores, they ring stuff through the till, it's to get to an order total. That's the shopping cart's job. Now, once it knows how much the customer needs to pay, customer's got to pay. So that's where the shopping cart sends a request, a payment request to the payment gateway. The payment gateway is the thing provided by your payment processor. It's just a service it's, that sits there and listens on the internet waiting for requests to come in. So the shopping cart would say, hey, payment gateway, wake up. It's, it's me, shoes.com. Shoes I have a guy here, Dave, and he wants to buy up shoes. So here's his credit card number. Can you see if Dave has $100 for me? And if so, approve the transaction. And so that's what ends up happening is the, the customer will submit their card, the payment gateway receives the request, approves the transaction, and then the, now the process happens in reverse. Now the payment gateway says, hey, shopping cart, one second ago you gave me a credit card for this guy, Dave. Well, he had the money, it's approved, so you can go and do all your stuff. So now the shopping cart knows that the order was successful, so it can send out the order confirmation to the merchant so you know that the order was approved. It can send an, a receipt to the customer so they have a receipt in their email inbox. Let's say you had an inventory module or like a database so the shopping cart can say, okay, sold one pair of uh, color blue size 10 shoes, remove those from the inventory so the inventory can be updated. This is just well, the, the e-commerce process in a nutshell. Now, the important thing to understand, and this is very important, not every shopping cart knows how to talk to every payment gateway. When we talk about compatibility, I wanna be really specific. So the payment request, where, where the merchant's website says, hey, payment gateway, wake up, it's me, shoes.com. Well, it's just, it's basically like a database query. And I don't wanna get overly technical or Cody. If, is Cody coding? Eh, whatever, maybe that's a word. You get what I mean. I'm not trying to describe how to code a request. All you need to understand is there is a format that the payment gateway is listening. It's, it's, it's listening and expecting the request to come in in a certain format, like name equals David, amount equals 100. Another payment gateway, the way it might be formatted, it could be customer equals David, total equals 100. I'm just explaining the programming concept that the shopping cart needs to send a request in a specifically formatted way. If it doesn't know how, it means it can't. It means it's not compatible. So that's the concept of compatibility. And when you're trying to build an e-commerce website, it's very important to pick a shopping cart software that's compatible with your payment gateway. 
Now, one of the mistakes that people make oftentimes is that they choose their shopping cart before their payment processor. I should be careful calling that a mistake, but it's probably not the best practice. And the reason why is the, the, the payment processor that you choose is, is going to pay, play a big role in your costs. Whereas, and there's an application process you have to get approved. So let's say that you're an event merchant doing concerts. Well, getting approved for that type of service is somewhat challenging and one payment processor might offer really good rates and another might not. So what if you choose a shopping cart software that only works with this one processor, but that processor isn't so good at approving concert merchants. So you end up getting not a very good rate. The uh, only point that I'm making is the best shopping cart softwares support many different payment gateways because that is in the best interest of the merchant. It opens up options for you. Let's say that you work with a payment processor and they treat you really poorly. Like things are going great for a year, but then something goes wrong. Maybe you get a couple chargebacks and they put a big hold on your account. And now you're really frustrated and you want to move. But the shopping cart software that you're working with only supports one payment gateway, theirs. That's a really big problem and a bit of, a, bit of an increasing problem because some e-commerce softwares have started to only use uh, shopping cart software, sorry, they started only using payment gateways that they're partnered with, meaning the shopping cart software provider might get a residual or some revenue from the payment gateway. And I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. But if they, if they take all the other options away from merchants and shoehorn them all to one gateway, then the problem that I just described could happen. It's not really in the best interest of the merchant. Something else to consider is doing a custom integration. So if you're building your own e-commerce website and people talk about integration or compatibility, you just need the payment gateway to provide their integration documentation or their guide. You know how I talked about there's a transaction request. It just specifies, hey, this is how you format the request when you're sending it to us. Generally speaking, actually very broadly speaking, if you're doing your own custom website, you don't have to worry about compatibility because whatever spec, whatever integration instructions your payment processor gives you, your developers can just do it. So that's an ideal scenario. But if you're using something like Shopify or existing shopping cart software, you can't change what payment gateways they support. That's where it becomes really important to consider what, what payment gateways that shopping cart software knows how to talk to, knows how to support. I sure hope I did a good job. Now I was explaining a technical concept in plain English. I hope I did a good job. If you do have any questions, reach out to us at merchantaccounts.ca. We're very happy to help with this type of question. Have a nice day there. Bye now.